Greetings, beloved of the Lord. Yet again, we appear, it's day five, and we are proclaiming the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, coming into this wonderful time to declare Psalm 5. And we honor him because this is the day that the Lord has made as we come through in the night seasons and glorifying the name of the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? Who is worthy to be adored? There is none who can compare to him. He's the great I am. Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We honor you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As we come to proclaim the word of God, Psalm 119 and verse 18, it says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things out of your law. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things out of your law. Psalm 5. We come into Psalm 5. The shield of divine favor. Psalm 5. We proclaim the word of the Lord. For the director of music for flutes, a psalm of David. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help my king and my god for to you i pray in the morning o lord you hear my voice in the morning i lay my requests before you and wait in expectation it says in verse 4 you are not a god who takes pleasure with you are not a god who takes pleasure in evil but with you, the wicked cannot dwell. And verse 5. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men, the Lord abhors. Verse 7. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house in reverence will i bow down toward your holy temple hallelujah in verse 8 lead me O lord in your righteousness because of my enemies make straight your way before me psalm 5 verse 9 not a word from their mouth can be trusted but for their heart is filled with destruction their throat is an open grave. With their mouth they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O Lord. Let their intrigues be their own downfall. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, but for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Precious people of God, we come on this wonderful time with one theme, to gain a heart of understanding. We understand that it is by the works of the Lord that we have come. Colossians 1 verse 9, it says, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. The shield of favor that says in verse 12, Surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. This wonderful Psalm 5 is a, you know, an incredible time for us to know that prayer should be the key of the morning and the bolt of the evening. When you are opening the door in the morning and in the night time when you are locking the door, that is what prayer should be. When the enemy tries to bring some confusion on your way, when the enemy tries to bring, you know, 
every kind of challenge your way, then prayer is that key that you will use to open and to close. When you start the day, the word of God says, in the morning. I was mentioning how we approach God in the place of prayer. Many a times we show up in the presence of God and probably we just lament and lament and lament or we demand and demand and demand or we ask and we ask and we ask. But David puts for us a cross how to approach this wonderful moment of prayer. It's a call to God to lead in righteousness, in his righteousness. That David says, lead me in your righteousness. He starts again just like what he says in Psalm 4. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. If today you are to be able to make that prayer, how are your words? Are your words in a position that you can say, O Lord, give ear to my words? Are your words proper? Are your words bringing you closer to the Lord? Are your words positive? and full of the word of God, or are your words negative and full of fear, which is the opposite of faith? You ought to know that as we come to God's word, he opens our eyes to see wonderful things out of, out of, his, out of the word of God. And our theme in this season five is to gain a heart of understanding. That yes, we have done season one, season two, we have read, we've done this a time we were doing six chapters, we started with three chapters, then the Lord encouraged us more and gave us six chapters that we were reading every broadcast and then we went to eight chapters and now the Lord himself is helping us in season seven according to his perfection to be able to take these psalms as face value, at face value, and be able to pray them, and to be able to receive understanding in regard to them. Proverbs 23, 23 says, Buy the truth and do not sell it. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Proverbs 23, 23 says, Buy the truth and do not sell it. Get wisdom, get understanding. Again, in Proverbs 7 and verse 14, it says, call wisdom your sister and understanding your kinsman. These are wonderful truths that when we come to Psalm 119 and verse 34, it says, give me understanding that I may keep your law with all my heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto my voice, O God. Hearken to my cry, to the voice of my cry. King, O King, O King, and my God. For unto thee I will pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 5. Wonderful and remarkable place to be in in Psalm 5, where it just says, Hearken unto my voice, oh, oh, hearken unto the voice of my cry. In the King James Version, verse 2 of Psalm 5, it says, Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. Unto thee, Lord, will I pray. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Beloved of God, it is good and remarkable for us to know that the word shield is so, so profound for us to be able to come to know this wonderful knowledge. In the Hebrew, it's called sinau. Sinau. The shield. It's um, a buckler. Um... It's a shield, a large shield. It, it covers this individual soldier. 
when you look at the Hebrew uh, concordance and you look at this word sinner, sinner, that is shield, is is the denoted as a pointed hook. Also, is denoted as a large shield, as if guarding by prickleness, as cold, as piercing, that it is piercing, it is like a hook. Uh, the original shield that we are talking about is like a hook. So for surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield that God is releasing his favor over your life. Hallelujah. Look, when we want to make an address before a head of state or somebody that we honor, we start first by, you know, approaching them with, you know, decorum with the right words by saying your excellency or saying words like uh vice chancellor sir things like that there is how we approach people on earth how we approach uh the, how the lawyer approaches the the the, the magistrate you will come to him and say your honor sir if the you look at the mps how they approach their speaker how you see the senators approach their speaker, how you see the people approach one another on earth, should be able to give us an understanding of how to present ourselves in prayer, that this hook has pointed, this favor may be upon us, this buckler, this cold buckler, it may be our portion. The key word in Psalm 5 verse 2 is prayer. 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 And the other word is prayer. We ought to pray. We ought to pray. And prayer has some, uh, has some principles that we must be able not to break. Because one, he says that the Lord resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Now, I want to break this down slowly so that you can be able to get it. Good, uh, good to note um, that the Lord is helping us together as we come back to this word of God. Verse 4, he says, you are not a God who takes pleasure in evil. With you, the wicked cannot dwell. This is a reality. The wicked cannot dwell with the Lord. It says in verse 5, The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. He says you hate all who do wrong. You hate all all who do wrong you destroy those who tell lies bloodthirsty and deceitful men the lord abhors beloved lies come in all shapes and sizes and some of the lies that men will allow into their lives will remain underlying within them and cause them to believe in those lies and when they believe in those lies then god destroys those who tell lies you need to understand that you can even be well-meaning in your sermon and you end up giving an exaggeration when you're exaggerating you say millions of people got saved and yet the meeting did not meet the criteria of millions. You notice that you will be standing in the direction of those who tell lies. It's very, very important for us to note these things. That the arrogant cannot stand in your presence. This means that if we have a higher sense of importance about ourselves, that is called arrogance 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 will cause you to be completely rejected by the lord if you are a student for instance and you feel as if the whole world revolves around school and everybody else even the people who supply the people maybe who transport you the people who give you something them they are nothing you you are studying engineering you are studying medicine so you are very very highly esteemed according to yourself let's listen to me even if you're in the christian union my dear young friend you will be standing in the place of the arrogant and the arrogant cannot stand in the presence of god he says he hates all who do wrong 
and it destroys those who tell lies including on social media including on summons including on telling themselves lies do you know that the real lies that you can tell you can even tell yourself a lie yourself and you believe a lie completely until you start to live a lie and you want what the word of god says he destroys those who tell lies bloodthirsty and deceitful men the lord abhors it says in verse 7 but i in your by your great mercy it's by the mercy of god do we approach him it's by his mercy is not none of us qualify it is only by grace through faith that we have been saved not of ourselves let anyone should boast but I, by your great mercy, will come into your house. In reverence will I bow down toward your holy temple. Listen to verse 8. And this is a prayer that we want to make as we get along in this journey of 150 days of Psalms, season 7. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make straight your way before me, that you will walk in the path of the righteous. And at the path of the righteous is like the first break of dawn that keeps getting brighter and brighter, that keeps getting brighter and brighter. Lead me, this is a prayer for us to make. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of mine enemies. Make straight your way before me. Psalm 5 verse 9 says it, Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with destruction. Their throat is an open grave. With their mouth they speak deceit. Declare them guilty, O Lord. Let their intrigues be their own downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. Child of God, I come to invite you into this shield of favor. I come to invite you into this location where the Lord declares them guilty. As we pray, as we seek Him, as we call on the name of the Lord, the intrigues, the plans, the intrigues. Verse 10, if I read it in the King James, it says it like this. Destroy them, thou, destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. There's a counsel of man that is called an intrigue. Something that is within your heart with the intention of doing evil. Malice. Malice. Planning to do that which is wrong, that which is evil for another person. Beloved, we are living in a world where we are having witchcraft and sorcery in the same space with the word of God. And at times, without discernment, we can be following divination and diviners and not following the Lord. It's important for us to have the spirit of understanding in us so that we can be able to discern whether this, this thing is of the Lord or is pure witchcraft. Verse 11 says, But all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them. Ha <laughs> ha. Beloved of God, this is the place that prayers are being answered because the, 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 the psalmist is mentioning and making decrees and making utterances that are powerful. It says, but all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Beloved, as you come, as you come drawing closer and closer to the shield of the Lord, it is good for us to rejoice in the Lord. It is good for us to rejoice in the Lord. In Isaiah chapter number 65 and verse 13. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat. My servants will will drink he says my servants will eat but you will go hungry he says my servants will drink but you will go thirsty my servants will rejoice isaiah 65 verse 13 
I want to mention this clearly that we may be able to align ourselves because it says that all who take refuge in you, let them ever sing for, let them ever sing for joy. That in Psalm 81 verse 1 it says, sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the Lord God of Jacob. Hallelujah. What a joy and delight that for the last three years we have been continually joining together in this channel to be able to connect with God's word and to allow it to change us and we can see what the word of God is doing that we need to come to the place of knowledge, the place of understanding, the place of gaining a heart of understanding, the place of receiving understanding that indeed when the word of God says spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you that we can stand from Isaiah 65 and verse 13 and mention it this is what the sovereign Lord says my servants will eat but you will go hungry my servants will drink but you will go thirsty. My servants will rejoice. Arise, servants of God all across the nations. And let us rise to the place that the Lord delights in us to be. Arise and be in that place of rejoicing. Arise and be in that place. According to Psalm 33 verse 1. What does it say? Sing joyfully to the Lord. You righteous. It is fitting and upright to praise him. Oh Lord, hey, oh Lord, I sing a new, new song, I sing, it is proper for you to sing unto the Lord, it is proper for you to praise Him, it is proper, hallelujah, it says, but my servants will rejoice, glory to your name, sing for joy, Sing for joy, sing for joy to God our strength. Shout aloud to the God of Jacob. For surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor. Your favor, your favor, your favor. O oh Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them never sing for joy. Spread your protection over them. For surely, O oh Lord, <laughs> let those that love your name, may they rejoice in you, Lord. We rejoice in you. We rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. Hey! We rejoice in you, Lord. We rejoice in you, Lord. For surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor. As with the seal, as with the seal, as with the seal. The seal of favor. Radi Zabuana Zikuzinguke. Kwajina la Yesu. Let the favor, the favor of God, be your person as you enter into this wonderful time. Beloved, it's a joy that the Lord has helped us and gathered us here. As we come to a close of this wonderful broadcast, I just want to appreciate each one of you, that even you who is just watching this for the first time and you have not understood what is on the challenge of 150 days of Psalms, I come to encourage you that it is a challenge that will lead you opening your bible more than ever before is a challenge that needs you to study god's word irrespective of how busy you may feel i want to tell you that the lord says in his word in psalm 5 11 that let all who take refuge in you be glad let them ever sing for joy because you spread your protection over them i pray over you today that the lord's hand be upon you in jesus name those of you who are not born again or you are here you're vaccinated and you want to come back this is what the word of god says in 1 john 9 it says 1 john verse 1 and 9 says that if we confess our sins he's faithful and just and will cleanse us from all manner of unrighteousness 
And then verse 10 says, if we claim we have no sin, we make God to be a liar, if I would paraphrase it. But tonight, I want to make introduction to you. If it's the very, very first time you have never heard about the Lord Jesus Christ, the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 9, it says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It is by grace. Grace through faith that you are saved. It is by grace through faith. There is no long channel or, the, or there is no threatening that you need. You need grace. You don't need to be afraid of hell. You need to come to the Lord because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. Psalm 1, 12 and verse 2. It says, your children, his children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. This journey of 150 days of Psalms will quicken the word of God in you. And the Lord will spread his protection over you. I want to pray for these ones that are giving their lives to Christ. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I am born again. The old is gone, the new has come. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and with your fire. In Jesus' name, Amen. Beloved of God, I thank God for you that have prayed that prayer. I thank God for you is revived. And I encourage you to write an inbox, write it in the comments and say, this is the situation I was in, but now I take refuge in the Lord. And I am singing for joy. Spread your protection over me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this broadcast, 5 of season 7. We ask that your hand go ahead of us, that you will lead us and that you will follow. We bless you and we glorify you. Thank you, Lord, even as we continue on in this new season. And Lord, as springtime comes, Lord God, we know also harvest comes. We know also summer comes. We know also winter comes. So Father, whichever season that anyone watching may be under, we ask you, Lord, for the shield, the hook, the, the shield of favor. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Even for the mission Monday, we thank you for the souls of men that have made transactions to come from darkness into light. Father, may your hand be upon us. Continue to provide for this journey. Continue to provide for everything we need. And we thank you because you are Jehovah Jireh. Be lifted, O oh Lord. Be exalted, O oh Lord. Receive all the praise. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, as we conclude this, I also want to welcome you to the prayer session right after this broadcast at 10.30 to midnight. 90 minutes of glory, time where we call on God and pray and talk to Him, but in a different platform from YouTube and from Facebook. So the Lord bless you. If you'd like to be part of that uh, wonderful session of prayer that the Lord has connected for us to continue, just write a message and then also someone will be able to add you onto that wonderful, wonderful link of prayer. So shalom and may the Lord bless you. May the shield of favor surround you as with a shield. Shalom.